Yo Lan True and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy and welcome to another episode of our little A to Z officer series. I said it uh, a while ago, I'm speeding up the officer series a bit at the moment because next week it will be interrupted again when the new R comes in and I have to talk about all the new stuff. So um, including um, next Tuesday before everything new starts, I will talk about officers. And this time I want to talk about another rare officer. But before I do this, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet, but do like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. And when you do also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. And this rare officer I'm talking about today is Spock. And fortunately, he is a rare officer you will most probably have very, very early in this game. And he will be very, very helpful because there's one certain crew I will talk about in a second, what he is part of, and that can be really helpful to you long before you probably have the full PMC crew. He does... Uh, first of all, we start with the with the general stuff that he is class science. That means you need science badges to upgrade him. He is from the Enterprise crew, and that not that he as captain could get synergy from others of that group, um, but the fact that he can give synergy to another captain of that group is something we will use. Although there are crews where Spock could uh, could work quite well as captain as well. And he's from the Faction Federation, which means you need Federation Faction credits to upgrade him. And you probably won't need the the explanation text here about Spock, but as usual, there's a text about uh, the character in the info box. So if you like, you can have a look what Scopely wrote there. This is the Spock from um, the Star Trek movie from 2009 with uh, Chris Pine as Captain Kirk and so on. Um, so that you know there are several Spocks in, in the game and so that you can have a kind of a direction where he comes from. But as I said, he does have a captain maneuver and that's logical. Spock increases the accuracy of the ship by 15% at the beginning of each round in combat. And that's not a bad one because it starts at the beginning of the round. Often you get some things only after the round when, when special things have happened. In this case, he always, at the beginning of the round, gives you 15% more accuracy. But what I was using more often was his officer ability, and that's illogical. While the ship has morale, Spock restores shield health to an amount equal to 750% of the defense of the officers on the ship. That number was lower uh, in the beginning, but um, I maxed him, so um, in the end it's 750%. But that is something... I regularly used um, in the early stages of the game when I started on a, the very first time or on a new server because um, the morale part you get from, from Captain Kirk um, from the same group and uh, that is something that's really helpful because this shield health restoration means you will have your shields much longer than um, you would have without him. And more shield means less hull damage in the end. If the shield is gone, all the damage goes on your hull, but as if the shield lasts longer, not all the damage will go on your hull. And so that's a really helpful um, thing. And the crew I was talking about is indeed the Enterprise crew. That's with Captain Kirk, then Spock on the bridge, and uh, also with Bones on the bridge. Those three combined are a really great crew for explorers. Not for other ships, for explorers. And you can use them quite well if you have an explorer. Be before you have the full PMC crew, they can get you um, quite a way through, through your gameplay. And the point is, we, we come to that in a second, and uh, the long list I've got here where you get him from, um, that you will have him early, that you will have him on higher levels quite early, and that's why it's so helpful. There's only one point I have to um, emphasize here because of the explorers. You don't need him 
when you have the enterprise. If you still use the Kirk crew from time to time, it's, it's uh, fine even on the enterprise. But then you don't need Spock because this ability makes no sense because that ability is built into the enterprise. And so you can replace Spock with another officer then. Um, so this crew is only for other explorers before you have the enterprise. When you have the enterprise, it's not w really worth it anymore to, to set these three together. When you have better crews later that are harder to get, of course, then it plays a role that as a rare officer, he does have two traits for away team assignments, that's scientist and analytical, and that's what I'm using. Now you see on the bottom left that he is on an away team assignment for me now because I don't need Spock urgently anymore. So I usually send him out for away team assignments. But um, as I said, you will probably, if you are on the on lower levels, probably use him for, for quite a time. But later on, he still is in good use for you in away team assignments. And I was talking about getting Spock already. So we have to go to the normal recruitment section. And there he already is in the premium recruit section. That's uh, one of those I like more because um, there are fewer officers in here than in the ultra recruit section, for example. You get those tokens regularly quite early. So you already here have a good chance of getting a number of, of Spock shards very, very early in the game. On my level 12 account that I have for, for certain videos, um, I do have Spock. And then he's in what I usually call the overcrowded section. So you know that what I mean, it's the uh, ultra recruit section. Why that thing has a timer, I have no clue. Um, would be not funny if they uh, take out the ultra recruit section at the next arc fall, because that will be the timer. Um, it runs out next arc fall. But even though it's overcrowded, and uh, no, that was the wrong spot, um, he is in here. I just need to scroll. It's a bit laggy, the game at the moment. So even scrolling is sometimes an issue. There he is. And you also get those tokens, the, the ultra recruit tokens regularly in the game. And so you can exchange here regularly, but the number of officers is so high that it's not uh, too likely to get Spock shards here. But he also is in the discovery recruit section. So the Sunday um, anomaly event, um, when you have the discovery, you can just jump four times and it's finished. That's the nice thing about it. There's Spock in here as well. But he's also in the Federation recruit section. That's the one where you get tokens via missions. And uh, they are not too expensive in the Federation faction store to buy. So um, you might from time to time want to get some of those. I always do that only if there's a recruit event and I'm out of other tokens for officers. So I just get a few of those and, and then uh, exchange them for, for the event. Um, I maxed all these officers here shard wise. So um, I would only get transporter patterns here. But if I'm short on transporter patterns, I could just um, do some exchanges here as well. And they are in the section where I usually do not buy those tokens. And that's the Federation Elite Recruit. Um, I got some from missions as well. But um, on a higher level with Federation, you can buy them in the faction store as well. But they are quite expensive. So that's what I'm not buying. But if you want to, you can. And so you know that Spock is in there as well. And not to forget something, we just had Crucible um, of War events recently again. And when that happens, there's also um, an officer exchange, um, one or two, depending on your level here in the recruitment section. And there Spock is in as well. So the probability that you have him is quite high. But of course, I would like to know what you have to say about Spock, how you are using him. And if you have questions in general or video requests, you know that I regularly read your comments. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there.
I'll be back.